Hello, and welcome to the Ladybug Watch Order channel. Where we specifically look at the order of Miraculous Ladybug. Today, we're talking about the order of Netflix and explaining why it's wrong, wrong, wrong. A quick disclaimer, this is only in the United States, where I live. I know it's different in other countries, so I'm sorry if Netflix looks different in your country. Now, I'm not going to be going into where every episode should be placed. I already have videos explaining in detail where I think the order should be, episode by episode. And if I explained everything wrong in each episode that Netflix has done, we'd be here all day. So, what this video is going to do is just point out the massive mistakes by Netflix and move on. The Netflix order looks like this, as I have artistically made. If you want to see what order I recommend, check out the link I'll be putting in the description. We'll be using these and pointing out what is wrong with each season. Season 1 First thing first, Bubbler should not and cannot be the first episode. The only reason it is the first episode is because it aired first on Nickelodeon. Remember when Miraculous was on Nickelodeon? It's a fine second episode because it builds on a lot of things, but it's not a good first episode. That belongs to Stormy Weather. In my humble opinion, Bubbler focuses on characters, exposition, and world building that belongs best as a follow-up to Stormy Weather. They have Stormy Weather as third. So if Netflix just moves Stormy Weather up to first, then Netflix wouldn't have such a bad first nine episode lineup. I put Dark Cupid after Horrificator merely for the fact that Kim seems to be still following Chloe's orders when I think he'd be over it by then. But that might just be me overanalyzing the story of season one and the character's actions. Quite a few people think that Princess Fragrance should be later in the series, but my hot take is that I think it's perfect in the middle of the series. It sets up a mystery of who Master Fu is right in the middle of the show. Here we go, I'm gonna get contentious. Why is Origins in the middle of the season? It makes no sense. I'm guessing it has to be here because of Master Fu, but that irritates me to no end. This is a special about Ladybug and Cat Noir getting their powers and explaining it. It just is weird to me that they put it in the middle of the first season to me at least. Most people believe this should be either at the beginning or the end of the season. I am firm on the stance that it should be at the end of the season, but that's another long video for looking at Origins at another time, which I will be making, by the way. Simon Says should really be near the end of the season because it hints at the identity of Hawk Moth, which we don't know in season one, but it will be introduced in season two. Having this episode closer to the end has better payoff. It also mentions Emily Agrest, who will become more important in Season 2 as well. Season 2! Season 2 is a weird one. First of all, they have it in two parts. What is up with that? I don't know why after all this time they can't just combine Season 2 into one part. It just makes people confused because it looks like there are more seasons on Netflix than there actually are. Ooh. Anyways. For the first episodes, I think Glaciator is too low and Repose is too high, but I think those are my big gripes. So overall, the first 11 are fine. Netflix did it right because you had to have Captain Hard Rock before Frightingale because of Luca. So good job. Get it while you can. Netflix has Style Queen and then Troublemaker and then Queen Wasp. Why? You don't drink? Why? <laughs> this just pushes my buttons. It's a two-part episode. It even says in the titles on Netflix. <sighs> they follow each other. Netflix, why on God's green earth are you messing with the flow? I do not understand. And then the rest of the season is fine. Remember, after season two is the Christmas special, which is its own little video on Netflix completely separate from the show. Season three. They have it in two parts. Again, Lord, why is it so hard to combine some seasons? Do other Netflix shows do this? The first four episodes are perfectly fine. And then we get to Gamer 2.0. Um, no? This episode shows so many characters that are coming up in the season. Gamer 2.0 needs to be like the 16th episode because of all the callbacks. It even shows 
Where Dad, which Netflix has after this episode. Besides that mess, the next few episodes are fine. And then we get to Party Crasher. God, no! Why, Netflix? Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 This is what sets me off every time. We have this episode showing Viperion and Pegasus, and then you introduce them all the way down here in episodes 19 and 20? What in God's green earth is wrong with you? Sick. I am sickened by this. This is the number one reason I started this whole account. If no one else listens to me about orders, hear this. Netflix is wrong about Party Crasher. It is the most wrong thing they have done with this series. <sighs> okay. I'm done. Moving on, Reflect All should not be this low. They need to encounter a Mux well before this, at least before Miracular. Speaking of these episodes, Star Train and Desperata cannot be after Feast because Master Fu is homeless after that episode, so Marinette can't show up to his house and get the Miraculous from him. He does not live there anymore. Ugh. Netflix has double screwed over how these characters are being handled this season. The rest of the episodes this season are, thankfully, fine. Season 4! Wait, no, Season 4 is on Disney Plus! And that's a whole other video. Speaking of, maybe one day Seasons 1 through 3 will move to Disney and they'll actually fix the mistakes that were made by Netflix. One can only hope. It's inevitable that Miraculous will leave Netflix, maybe sooner rather than later. But here's the video talking about why Netflix screwed it up so badly. We need to keep Netflix accountable. If you didn't know, you can report episodes on Netflix out of order. But I've done it again and again. And do they listen to me? No. So I guess the episodes will just stay screwed up. Netflix isn't the only place that screwed up the orders, but it's the place where people watch Miraculous the most. Again, if you want to know my opinion on the best way to watch the episodes, I've got that link down in my description. Fingers crossed that sometime in the future, some streaming service will put the episodes in an order that makes sense and don't break continuity. If you like this video, you can throw down a like or subscribe, look at my other videos talking about the orders, and look out for more order videos that I'm going to be making soon. See ya!